Martin here and thanks for joining me on the channel today. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to submit your game to a print and play game design contest on Board Game Geek. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I have participated in a couple of those contests and I had a really great time. It was a really great experience, especially if you're a fledgling game designer who wants to learn, who wants to level up, who wants to learn a lot of best practices for you know, how to get your game out there, how to get feedback, how to uh, entice play testers and how to integrate that feedback, how to write rules, all that stuff uh, really got a boost uh, for me, those skill sets, when I participated in a couple of game design contests on Board Game Geek. However, there is a learning curve. It can be pretty intimidating, especially for fledgling game designers, uh, to understand all the different rules and nuances to get your game as an entry into a game design contest. And so that's why I decided to make this tutorial. So uh, enjoy the tutorial and I'll check back in with you at the end and get your feedback. Today I'm going to show you how to enter a print and play game design contest on BoardGameGeek.com. A little more about me and why you should watch this video. I've joined a couple of print and play game design contests. My games took 7th place overall in the 2018 Solitaire PNP contest and 4th place overall in the 2018 Mint Tin contest. I'll include links to my game entries in the video description so you can refer to them. The first step is to launch your web browser and head over to the Board Game Geek website. Then, from the forums menu at the top of the page, select All Forums and scroll down to the Board Game Design subforum, then click into the Design Contest subforum. At the top of the Design Contest subforum, you'll find a pinned post with current contest info. This post will tell you what contests are currently active, along with their respective statuses. As I'm recording this video, it looks like there are three contests currently running. The 2020 Nine Card Game Design Contest, the third Roll and Write Game Design Contest, and the 2020 54 Card Game Design Contest. In addition, the 2020 Two Player Game Design Contest is currently in the voting stage. That's exciting. I wonder which entry will win. Let's say we're interested in joining the 2020 Nine Card Game Design Contest. Let's click on this link. Aha! This takes us to the contest thread for the 2020 Nine Card Game Design Contest hosted by Joseph Prapati, BGG veteran and noted designer of many awesome print and play games. Now each contest you choose to join will have a BGG veteran as the host and organizer of the contest and they do a lot of the work behind the scenes to make sure that the contests run smoothly. In this thread you're going to find important contest information such as the contest rules, important dates, game entry requirements, expectations of participants, an example entry thread, and more. Please read this thread thoroughly as everything you need to know about joining the contest is there. If it's your first time joining a contest on BGG, it's easy to feel confused or overwhelmed. I know, I felt the same way the first time that I joined a BGG game design contest. Don't worry, I'm going to walk you through creating your first contest entry. Now the first step is, after you read the rules, create a work in progress or WIP thread in the Board Game Design Works in Progress subforum on BoardGameGeek. Let's use an actual contest entry whip thread as an example. Here's the whip thread for a contest entry called 8-Bit Dungeon by Robert Lausevich. Note that the title of Robert's whip thread contains the following information. WIP or whip in parenthesis, the name of the game, the contest in which the game is entered, and the game's current status. There are three possible statuses for your game entry. The Components Available status means that you've developed your game to the point that print and play components are being made available for download and playtesting, but these may not yet be the final components. The Idea Phase status means that you're presenting your game idea, but you haven't yet provided any print and play components for download and construction. Most often, your game is going to start in the Idea Phase status. Now before the contest entry deadline, you must switch your whip thread status to contest ready. Now this status means that you consider your game ready to be tested and judged. 
This may or may not be the final version of your game's components, but you are not allowed to make any changes to your game at this point until after the contest is over. Now that you know how to properly construct your web thread's title, let's take a look at the other elements your web thread should have. You must prominently state the name of your game, the number of players, the estimated playing time, and a link to the contest in which your game is entered. You should also include a picture of your game to give folks an idea of how your game looks. You should also describe your game succinctly in two to three clear, simple sentences. List your game's components to give players and prospective playtesters an idea of what they'll need to construct and provide to make your game. List the contest categories in which you wish to submit your game. Remember, if you don't list a category here, then your game can't take any places in that category. Finally, once you have game rules and components ready for players and playtesters to download, place links to them here. Once you've ensured that your whip thread post contains all of these components that I just mentioned, then congratulations! You've taken your first step in successfully entering your game into a print and play game design contest on BGG. Okay, let's sum it all up. Your whip thread should contain the following elements, a properly formatted title, a link to the contest thread, a two to three sentence game summary, a picture of your game, a listing of your game components, the number of players and the estimated playing time, the categories in which you want your game to compete, and links to the current game rules and files in PDF format. Hey folks, thanks for watching this video, this tutorial on how to get your game entered into a print and play game design contest on Board Game Geek. I really hope that you found the content and the format useful and informative. I would love to get your feedback. Please drop me some comments in the comment section below uh, on if you would like to see more videos of these types. Uh, and also just give me feedback on how to make them better for you. I really want to focus on um, a series of videos on uh, fledgling game designers and give, giving you the skills you need to be able to level up, to be able to get feedback, to be able to uh, get your game designs and game ideas out there into the world. Until next time, this has been Martin. Thanks for watching.